whether a fire is very large or very small, it needs three things to burn. Fuel, heat, and oxygen. These three elements make up the fire triangle. Every fire can be dangerous, especially wildfires and house fires. In a wildfire, the fuel is the brush and the trees, and sometimes even the homes that are in the area. In a house fire, fuel is the wood and other materials used to build the house, and all the items inside, like furniture and mattresses. Heat can come from many sources. In a wildfire, it can be a lightning strike or a carelessly discarded match. In a house fire, heat can be from a candle left burning unattended or even from a cooktop. The third element, oxygen, comes from the air we breathe every day. That air contains about 21% oxygen. All fires, including wildfires and house fires, use the oxygen in the air around them to burn. Let's do an experiment by safely creating a small contained fire. Remember, never try this at home. We're going to need the three elements of the fire triangle, fuel, heat, and oxygen. In our experiment, we have air, which we know contains oxygen. We have fuel, which in this case will be the wood we've placed in the bucket. And we have heat in the form of this lighter. When we apply the heat, we complete the fire triangle. The wood ignites. As the fire burns, it continues to consume its fuel source, as well as the oxygen in the air around it. Now, how do we put a fire out? That's simple, by removing one of the three elements in the fire triangle. Let's start by removing heat. In a house fire, firefighters remove the heat by spraying water on the fire. With enough water, the heat will be removed and the fire will go out. The same is true in wildfires when helicopter pilots drop hundreds of gallons of water on burning hillsides. In our experiment, let's try the same thing. We'll add water to take away the heat. Sure enough, the fire triangle is broken and the fire goes out. There are some fires where water doesn't work. One of those that many of us have faced at home is a cooking grease fire. Spraying water on a grease fire can be very dangerous. It can cause the grease to splatter and the flames to grow and spread. Never use water on a grease fire. But without water, how do we put a grease fire out? Let's go back to our fire triangle. Heat isn't the only element we can remove. Watch what happens when we slowly move a lid over the burning material in the pan. The same thing happens when we carefully pour baking soda over it. That's because the lid and the baking soda accomplish the same thing. They both smother the fire. Or to put it another way, they remove the oxygen. So remember, the fire triangle is made up of three elements, fuel, heat, and oxygen. Remove any one of them, and fire can no longer burn.